This is Timothy Alexander White, your host for Festival at Sea and for Bluetooth Television. This week we are excited because we are celebrating Blue World Travel's 20th anniversary of Festival at Sea. We are especially overjoyed as my co-host Carwana Dyson and I talk with your celebrity guests such as Patti LaBelle, Charlie Wilson, Cassette Michelle, comedian A.J. Jamal, comedian Jay Lamont, saxophonist John Sachs, and celebrity chef Aaron Big Daddy McCargo. This is a week of fun, so sit back, relax, and enjoy Blue World, Blue Skies, Blue Water, and Blue Tube Television. Hi, I'm Timothy Alexander White, spokesperson for Blue World Travel and host of Blue Tube Television, along with my co-host Carwana Dyson, all the way from... I'm from San Francisco, California. And in the studio today, we have Miss Chrisette Michelle, who's here for, I believe, the very first time. We're so happy to have you here. We're so pleased that you're here to perform for us, and I love your music, and I think you're going to be wonderful. So tell us, what's going on with Chrisette? Tell us where you're from and anything else you want to say. I'm from New York, um, and this is actually my second time on a cruise. I've been on this actual cruise enjoying a show right out oh, there in the audience. Okay, okay. So it's kind of cool to be on the stage this uh -huh, time. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So how long have you been singing since you were? Since I was about four, since I could speak and make good sentences. Uh -huh. If you weren't singing, what would you be doing? Trying to become a singer. Okay. <laughs> Trying to become a singer if she wasn't singing already. You do a great job, by the way. Now, um, Chrisette, like, I had a chance to take a look at your bio, and I understand that your last project that you had, um, Freedom, about freedom, and it talks about, um, well, it had a personal message about breaking the bondage of, you know, and being becoming free. Can you tell us a little bit about that message and why it was so personal to you to get that out in your album? The album Let Freedom Reign uh, had uh, so many different reasons, uh, but one was to the young people in America. I feel like there was this spirit of complaining that was going on, everybody being upset with the government and upset with everything that's going on instead of taking advantage of the things that we do have. There's so many countries with absolutely no freedom, but here in America we can get an education, uh, we can become entrepreneurs, uh, and we can make opportunities for ourselves where we wouldn't be able to do uh, in other countries. I got to visit Iraq and I got to see firsthand what it looks like um, in other countries where people don't have that freedom. So this uh, m album was a message to the young people to take advantage of what we do have here in America. You know, you're working on your fourth studio album, which is quite a few for a person who's been around not quite a long time, but your rise, it seems as though it's coming pretty quick. How does that feel to you to be working on your fourth studio album? Unreal. I mean, even when the word four uh, is said about studio albums for me, I just can't believe that I've been able to uh, stay afloat this long. So many crazy things have been happening in the music industry, uh, but I've been able to go gold on three albums, and I'm really, really proud of that. Uh, yes, congratulations to you. I know your album, uh, your new song, uh, So In Love, featuring Busta Rhymes and also Rick Ross. Mm -hmm. Tell me, how did that collaboration come about? I was hanging out in the studio. Uh, Busta Rhymes happened to be there. Angie Martinez happened to be there, and I said, excuse me sir would you mind if we make a trade so i did a hook for his new album uh -huh. and he jumped on to uh, a song that was already made called so in love uh -huh. and so it was uh, complete love and now it's playing on the radio which is surreal because it happened just like that uh -huh. i think i want you to do a hook on my album when and if ever i could <laughs> become a singer and sing a song i can't hold a note it's hard for me to even sing happy birthday uh -oh. And I know that you had an opportunity to work with so many artists, so many great artists like John Legend and Neo wrote some things for you as well. And then what most people didn't know and what I didn't know is that you have an, an artist under your wing who is your brother, right, who has a mixtape out. Now, are you looking to get, tell us a little bit about that project and then are you looking to get more into artist management? I would never want to manage an artist. I think that's the toughest, scariest, most challenging job. Managing me is insane. I feel bad for my mother, God bless her. Uh, but to lead and guide somebody in this crazy industry, uh, especially my own brother, that's a different story. Uh, he's a beautiful person, he deserves a sound, and he has superstar qualities. I don't feel um, like we're in the same lane. I feel like he is, he's, he dances, he plays instruments, he sings, he raps, he's a superstar, and I need him to be that. I need to see that happen for him. Who are you listening to right now? What's in your CD player? Who impresses you? What do you think? What's your favorite artist? My favorite artist? I don't have a favorite right now, uh, but I love Janelle Monae. I love the Yeah, Yeah, Yeahs. I just went to go see uh, Oland in concert, and I also went to go see Taylor Swift just a couple of weeks ago. Um, so many really, really great artists out right now, uh, and so much to choose from, so it's hard to pick just one. Do you like doing most of your writing or more singing? What is your preference? My preference is performing. I love to perform. I do write most of what I sing. I wrote my first and my third all of those two albums uh, for the most part. 
and um, and I wrote a lot of the second album as well. So I like both. And then your your music is very is very interesting. There's like a blend of a little bit of everything in there. And so I, what I would like to know is who are some of the influence your influences, your major influences, and then like if there's any particular type of genre you think you fit in, what would that be? I don't feel like I fit anywhere. Uh, I feel like I've been put in R&B, uh, but most of the songs that I write are rock and gospel. Uh, I was raised playing the saxophone since the time I was eight. Yeah, and so I was in jazz bands. Um, jazz was my first love. Ella Fitzgerald, Billie Holiday, Sarah Vaughan. Being a young woman yourself, what advice would you give if you were talking to a room full of young people who were interested in becoming uh, musicians or singers? What advice would you give them? Especially to young women, uh, get a job. A lot of us uh, try to come into this industry on someone else's dime. Uh, get your own dimes, get your education, understand what it is that you're about to do, and fund it yourself in the beginning. Now, when you get that big record label deal, of course, you know, that label is going to pay for your way. But don't take money from, from strangers and, and from people who are out trying to make a quick buck because it'll always bite you in the butt. As you continue to grow and become real big, I know you're Grammy, uh, <laughs> you're Grammy Award winner. And um, so let's say five, ten years down the road, you, you're doing this, you've been doing it for some time. Is there anything you would like to become involved in uh, somewhat? Uh, we talked to uh, Charlie Wilson uh, last night. He's into a prostate cancer kind of an organization. Uh, is there anything like that on your mind or in Horizon that you would like to uh, involve yourself in? Well, I am the spokeswoman for the American Heart Association. Uh, my mother suffered a stroke uh, about six months ago, and so we had been traveling and doing tours with them. Um, I love to, to, to reach out uh, when it comes to hunger. Um, I just like to do charity. I have a charity called Charity Fiend, and we just like to go out and help wherever, in any way we can uh, without feeling like we're celebrities going out to help. Um, so just getting my hands dirty. I, I knew that is for the listening and watching audience. Yeah, <laughs> question. <laughs> Are there any um, artists that you haven't had an opportunity to work with that you would love to work with? Me and Trey Song should work together, I think. Yeah. Well, we know you got a show coming up, and we don't want to keep you too long. We're so pleased that you were able to be here and uh, talk with us, and the audience is looking forward to seeing you. I can hear them with the buzz out there now, so we wish you well, and hopefully you'll get a chance to come back and see us sometime. And if you're anywhere in my area, I'm definitely going to come out and see you and say hello to Chrisette Michelle. I'm Timothy Alexander-White. This is Bluetooth Television. Thank you so much for watching, and we've got a concert to go to now.